Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make the AI skull visualizer. It's Pelayer today and let's begin. So the first thing we're going to do is to make a 3D skull visualizer basically. So you're going to open up After Effects, make a new composition and here you're going to be making a solid layer new solid you can just use the default settings here works very well and after that you're going to be adding element 3d and here you're going to go to scene setup and after that you're going to be importing a 3d skull model which is going to be linked in the description so you guys can go and download it after you have imported the skull it's going to look something like this here we have to rotate the skull a little bit to make it uh, face us basically so you're just going to go down to orientation here and change this one to 90. We're also going to be adding a texture to the skull here. We're going to go to presets, physical, and then choose chrome. So it looks something like this, pretty clean. After that, you're going to be pressing OK. And then we're going to open up group one, particle replicator, rotation. And here we're going to hold alt and press the clock here on Y rotation. So you're going to get this express section up here. And here we're going to type time, store key, and then 150. So now this skull is going to be spinning. You can see it's insanely far away in the skull now. So you're going to make it a little bit more bigger. So you're going to go to particle look here and set the particle size to 105. Just like that. And after that to make it more realistic we're going to be adding some sort of shadow here. So we're going to go down to render settings. And here we're going to open up ambient occlusion. Enable AO. And here we're going to set the SSAO intensity to around 28. Looks more realistic and clean. And after that, I want to have like a cool like camera look to the skull here. So we're going to be adding a camera layer here. Uh, so you're going to right click here, new, and then camera. It now looks kind of weird, but uh, we're going to fix the settings uh, in the layer instead. So you're going to open the layer up here, camera options. And these are the settings we're going to be using uh, if you want to copy the same. And then we want to zoom out a little bit uh, with the transform, change the angle to get a cool look here. I'm going to go with something like this. You can see the position settings I'm using here. And after you've fixed your camera settings, we're going to be adding a overlay to this. So I'm going to add a overlay from my particle overlay pack. I'm going to import the blue spinning particles, drag it under the skull layer. And now it's going to look something like this here. Might not look the best at the moment, but... Uh, we're gonna render this out. I'm gonna make it around 10 seconds long. So now when you have rendered it, you're going to be opening up a website called kyber.ai. And it's going to look something like this here. And you're basically going to press create video. And here I'm going to choose the transform type. And now we're going to be uploading your 3D skull visualizer you just made here. After you have imported your clip here, you're going to press edit prompt and here, for the first version, I'm gonna go with some like water style here. So I'm going to type water world, water skull, <laughs> Atlantis. Some like water ocean kind of cool vibes here. And after that, we're going to be choosing a style here. I'm going to choose cinematic style here. And just because we're going to be blending the AI layers together later, I'm not going to make the prompt so detailed even though you can make it much more detailed and get like a super cool look but that won't be as necessary for this effect so after you're done here you're going to press video settings choose 4 on evolve version 2.0 and then press generate previews now you guys can see how it looks to preview there a little bit if you're satisfied with the preview you're just going to press create video and now it's going to be loading here for a while so now after it has been loading you're going to be upscaling it to 1080p so now we're going to make this four more times so we get five different versions uh, of this like skull animation here so this is like a water one you can make like a like a lava one space one you know all these different themes whatever you want to do but five different versions and uh, after that we're going to be importing those to After Effects. When you have made your five versions here, we are back in After Effects and we're going to be pre-composing all of these layers here. Just make it invisible. We don't need it for the moment. And then you're going to be importing all of your five versions you just created. Rescale them, make it uh, fit the composition. After that, we're going to be making these layers lighten as the blending mode instead. So go to blending mode instead of normal, lighten, next one lighten after that pre-compose this name it skull blend 
press Ctrl D and here on a new layer add edge detect and I'm going to set the edge smoothness to 0 and then the threshold to 0 0.5 and change the effect to mono edges. After that add flicker and set the amplitude to 0 0.5 and the random color amplitude to 1. That should be good for the effects but we're going to be changing the blending mode here to screen instead of normal and after that we're going to press s on the layer 105 percent and as a finishing touch i'm going to be adding a adjustment layer Control alt y and here we're going to be adding deep low i'm going to set the radius to 500 and the exposure to 0.5 you can also add smooth blending if you guys want and if you guys want to elevate the effect even more, you can add a preset from our TV Glitch Pack V2. It's going to look something like this. It looks, looks absolutely amazing. And uh, yeah, if you want to check it out, it's available at our website. But other than that, this was the tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Feel free to, as I said, you know, check out our website, check out our socials. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys soon. Take care and uh, have a nice day.